please. Oh, that's your, no, that's great. I don't care. Ken and I once stood in line at a, at a Tower Records, I believe, and to get Squeeze's autographs and tell them that we really liked a record of theirs that they absolutely hate. And basically they told us why would we even like that record that we liked so much. <laughs> Sorry, Still guys. Like Sorry we liked your record. Yeah. Isn't it funny how like the good record is just kind of like, yeah, whatever. Whoa. What in the world? Is that like trying to riff on the Nirvana album cover? Yes, yes totally. This is uh, No Seattle Forgotten Sounds of the Northwest Grunge Era, 1986-97, Volume 2. Who we got? Bundle of Hiss, Chemistry Set, uh, Tree House, Soylent Green, Kill Civil, Calamity Jane. Oh, that's that's digging way deep. I don't, I don't even know who like, Starfish is. I've never even heard yeah. of that band. Small uh, Stars? And Shug, was that pre Shuggy? Is that a Tim Curry solo album? Good lord. He was also hot. And him and yeah, Chris Christopher isn't the same stylist or something. Check what's right behind it though. This is an album that John and I listen to like ad infinitum. Do you want is a record that, that... Wait, wait, wait. Is that Cupid and Psyche? Yeah, it is. It's yeah. from the back cover. I could tell that one. Yeah, this is... this. You would be... You wouldn't know from our sound, really, but, like, this is an album that just absolutely blew our minds. You know, like, the level of production on this record is completely insane. Now, this album we also spent a lot of time with. For other reasons. For, uh, yes. This, um, this one had Morning Train, of course, which, you know, just fill in the blanks, of course. Look at her pose. Like... She's probably hating this photographer so much. Like, how much, how much longer did I have to stay in this fucking pose? Like doing fucking yoga in my fucking high heels. Fucking Sheen Easton. Princess she looks, Colin. She looks like a Christmas tree. She does. She looks like Without some. She looks like a, an Etsy project. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a, quite a bit of Australian stuff going on here. Here, but there's hunters and collectors. But then there's Blondie the hunter. But they, they probably want oh, to suppress. Wow. They probably want to suppress that one. Like. When they put their discography up. Yes, well, we made several albums, and not including this one. I don't know if this is a recent reissue, but this this is truly one of my all-time oh, favorite yeah. records. This is just badass. I know it's like wimpy for me to talk about this and not whatever carp, but um, this is a great record. This stuff just this oh, is like God, this is like oh, nightmare Lord. like you know <laughs> yes. if you want your children to go insane basically you just play your children. Oh my God! And of course, they always worked in quality motion pictures. You can see just from the stills on this one. Yeah, that's 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 good stuff right there. Yeah. Just make sure there's no mushrooms or LSD in your system when you listen to that. You won't come back for a second. Whoa! What's this? Capital City Rockets. This, oh my lord. They're like a roller derby team and they're all, t oh my, this is, whoa. Um, this has potential. And the, the guitar player is Michael Bopper Warner. Somebody really likes Angus Young too. Look at yeah. that face he's making there, come on. And it's gotta be some significance. They're all in 50s, but it's probably when they were born. Or it's IQ points, one of the two. Like, really, who comes up with these concepts? Okay. Co it's cocaine, right? It's, yeah. <laughs> this cap it definitely captures the most. First, we're going to bleach the mustache. Second right. of all, get the cage. parrot. Third of all, parrot. The Fourth parrot's of like, all, more coke. The parrot's like, fuck, I can't believe I'm doing this. When your drug dealer is your art director. <laughs> it gets even better. Oh, my lord. Let's put some Vaseline <laughs> on the lens to, like, soften that parrot. I don't think it's Vaseline. I think that's the tears of everyone who had to listen to this. <laughs> well, we okay. have another winner here. <laughs> Uh, are those, what are they, like mufflers that they built their guitars out of? Or are they like giant, yeah, like, Yeah, it says uh, muffler here. Holy moly. And there are twins, and they're frightening. And they're probably filled with, like, vodka, and there's a straw that you can, like, hook up if you want. So, I think, uh, this, what, what can you say about this guy that hasn't been said, but, uh, incredible stuff. But I'm not sure if it's going to be able to compete in the end with this. I mean, I got to go talk to my meth dealer first before I actually dive deep into this one. Um, but it is giving me some ideas and some thoughts about how to improve our our stage show. <laughs> Let's just say. <laughs> and uh, that this kind of goes back to the meth dealer thing again. I think uh, I'm going to 
get some stuff, put this on, and spend three days cleaning the house and or arranging Christmas lights with thumbtacks on the walls for, uh, no, I've never done that before. So, wow, what a, what a haul. Uh, these are just, you know, this is the kind of things you find crate digging. I mean, it's always like the unlikely sources. I mean, yes, there's all these great new releases with amazing packaging, modern bands that are wonderful, blah, 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 blah. Um, but these, you know, are kind of, you know, weird forgotten items that you know, usually they're, they're just so fascinating because of their like near misses, usually. Uh, we're going to find out why, you know, when we listen. Um, or they could be just amazing and they just fell through the cracks. You know, I mean, Quasar could be just genius. I just had never heard of them. Maybe they're really famous and I just was sleeping that day in class. These guys, I don't know, but they got something. They, they got something going. Won't, probably won't find this by random, you know, and it, we're in a record store, like, that's, that's why we love record stores, right? Because you can find stuff by random just by flipping through. Yeah, I'm thinking about that.